Hello, Victor Wooten here with Sam Ash. Today we're going to talk about how to develop a song using a looping pedal. A looping pedal. So first, what is a looping pedal? A looping pedal is a, a brilliant device. It's usually a pedal that you step on and it's a, like an instant recording machine. If I play a line, if I step on the pedal, it goes into record and now it's recording my line. If I step on it again, it'll, re it'll repeat and loop what it just recorded. So what that means is if I want a loop that sounds good, guess what? I have to play well. It starts with me. So with a looping pedal, if you want a rhythmic loop that repeats in rhythm, you have to step on the pedal in rhythm. And the way you do it is the way I do it, I say, I, I'll play a, a bass line, something like this. And if this is beat one, I have to step on the pedal on beat one right here, beat one. I stepped on the pedal. Now on the same beat, I step on it again. And I have a loop. Now if I step on the pedal on the right beat, it's gonna loop and sound good. But if I don't step on the pedal on the right beat, on the right place, my loop will sound off. And guess what? It's not the pedal's fault. It's like looking in a mirror. If you don't like what you see, it's not the mirror's fault. So now let's get into it. How do we develop a song? You have to be creative. I'll show you some ways that I do it to help uh, exercise me, my creativity. I am going to loop this. Actually, I'm going to do it up an octave. And I'm going to loop it eight times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I stepped on the pedal at the right time. And you get a seamless loop. Now I listen to this. And what does this tell me? It tells me a tempo but it does not tell me a time signature. In other words, this doesn't mean that it's one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. It can mean that, but could also mean a one, two, and three, two, two, and three, and three, two, and three. Uh, you can come up with any time signature based on this. But the key here in developing songs is I want to act like the song already exists. It's out there in the ether somewhere. Can I receive it? What is this telling me? The obvious would be D because that's, you know, basically a D. It could also be here. It could be the A because those are the two notes. But I'm going to take it here. Listen. Now let me loop that. I'm using a looping pedal. That's nice. Let's take that up an octave. So I took it out of, of record. The looping pedal is out of record. So now I can explore and I'm not messing up what I have. Let's see what rhythm. That could work, but I'm not feeling that right now. I'm gonna go there, laid back. It's early in the morning here, so I'm gonna chill. still in record, so whatever I do, ooh, 
that's kind of nice. I'm going to fade in harmonics here. And I'm just exploring. But the main thing is I'm letting the music talk to me. That's a pretty nice groove. Now what do I want to say about it? So that's totally like a melody or a verse, but to add a chorus, now we need something that's shorter and repetitive. All right, shorter and repetitive makes the chorus. I've talked about it with the verse, now I need something that repeats. Let's improvise some. Uh, I don't like that so much. Nice, but let's let's uh, I like that. That's kind of a nice little hook. Let's harmonize that. Ooh, I kind of messed up. Let's fix it. doesn't my looping pedal allows me to erase that that's a good feature to have in our looping pedal now I can go back to my verse right so that's one idea that's one way of uh, using a looping pedal to develop a song but you can start from anywhere so now we can try a different idea. Remember, the, the first time I started from that. I didn't know what it was going to be, but I allowed that to speak to me. But maybe I've come up with a cool bass line that I like. Loop it. Now, I don't rush. I just let this bass line speak to me. And because I'm in the rhythm section, I usually start with the rhythm. What do I want this to feel like? Right? Is this... Is it swing? Nah, not quite. Is it punk? Maybe. Is it rock? Or is it funky? Is it trapped? That'd be kind of nice. Right? So you have choices. So I'm going to do this. That rhythm's a little off. I'm going to straighten it out by putting quarter notes here. So remember, I don't have to love it. These are just ideas. I may store this on my computer or my iPhone or whatever. Now, what's the chords to it?
instant groove. I'm not afraid of it. I just add on to it, but I listen first. I ask, what is this music telling me? And then I go with that. And if it doesn't sound good, no problem. But the looping pedal is one of my favorite friends to jam with because the pedal never gets tired. It never judges me. But if you use a looping pedal, you can explore this wild, wide realm of music in any way that you want. Again, a looping pedal is one of my favorite things to jam with and allow it to, uh, allow it to tell me what to play, right? So I urge you to get a looping pedal, make friends with it, and write your own song. I hope that helps. Thank you.